Hello again, so I want to show something which is analysis of people and how it works. And I mentioned a few months ago to a friend and his girlfriend that I can analyze people and it's always correct. Well, almost always. There are one type of things that you people that you cannot analyze or completely analyze or you can be wrong. And that is if they are mentally unstable and uh, they act on random impulses. And then there are things that you cannot, however, you cannot analyze properly. However, you can analyze that if you have enough information by seeing there are inconsistencies in behavior in what he says. And you can then, in the end, also deduce this. But it is more, I'm talking more about. Um, in short term that you deduce what someone is like and one of the things that you can use is for example picture thumbnail picture of channel name on youtube channel name itself um, or for a commenter the same the, the the commenter name these are chosen this, this means they have meaning the, cha the picture has meaning i saw someone for example with the the who used the thumbnail picture of george uh, wanker bush and I thought, yeah, that guy's an a-hole. Otherwise, you don't use such a picture. Unless you want to make him, or you want to, want to criticize him. But I was right. Uh, I made a comment about him, and he was clearly an a-hole. And it was completely expected. And here, survival lily. What can you say about that? That someone who is... Um, well, you need to know a little bit more. This, if, but... Actually, you don't need to know that she's from Germany, which she is. Um, but survival really means a mindset of being uh, self-sufficient, not dependent on others, but also it almost always means critical of government. And let's see this picture. The picture doesn't say anything. Um, let's see. This is about... You give up your driving license and you get uh, free rides on public transport. I don't know how for how long. They could give back their driving license and then they would get a free ticket, which is fine. But now everybody can give back their driving license. So I think it's pretty clear that they have tried to make the car the culprit for climate change, of course. And the car is so evil. And it's pretty yeah, there you see the mindsets of this person, uh, which is exactly as expected from this name. And they want a car because that gives them freedom, the things. So of, co of course, it doesn't give you freedom. It also gives you a lot of costs, maintenance, and actually a huge amount of money by, mo by most people is spent on cars because of all those costs. And they think they have freedom, but it's the same as um, many things that you don't actually have freedom. If you have a lot of things, for example, in your house, what does it give you? It gives you a burden to keep it, to maintain it, to make sure that it doesn't get stolen, get, does it get um, destroyed when there's a fire in your house. When you get rid of everything, you feel actually more free. But does it, okay, let's let's look at something else. Uh, so I mentioned in a previous video that I could analyze everyone very quickly, and I gave us a little bit of a recap here. Uh, I haven't uploaded that other video yet. I think probably this problem with here, here in Ukraine often bad internet, very slow internet. Um, yeah, okay. In any case. Does it work? Yes, it always, almost always works. For example, uh, Lightlock, the company that I criticized, made a video with fake comments. Now, almost all comments were fake. Uh, I think I made screenshots. I commented with it, commented about it with a video on a log. Someone replied to it, and my comment was later gone. Okay, who, who, why? Uh, pretty, pretty. It's, it's quite likely that um, that company. Or that guy from Lightlock, that that uh, narcissist owner, um, 
criticized my comment or made a, made a yeah at YouTube, filed a complaint, whatever, but my comment is correct. Uh, how you could see that most comments were fake, were for example, that there were too many women. Women are not, not interested in bicycle locks. They're generally not interested in technology stuff and hardware, etc. So if there are, if there's one woman or two, maybe. If there, if it's 50-50, then it's fake. Secondly, comments were like gushing oh that guy is strong it was like with a screwdriver he was trying to um see if he could replicate the uh, the 17 second light lock video to destroy the lock by twisting it and he did it in the stupidest way possible but first of all you don't use a screwdriver you use a crowbar secondly you use uh, even if it's a long screwdriver it needs to be a bit longer just as a crowbar is and you use it at the tip so that you get the maximum leverage not at the middle you morons but it, of course morons they do that on purpose um and then s someone says oh yeah the guy's strong I could give me a break that's bullshit that, that's fake comment M there was one that was uh, a bit uh, critical that was stood there but further they didn't allow any comments so it's just uh, rubbish and you know from these kind of things also what the owner is like but uh, more about I mentioned a few things in other videos let's look here so this is a woman who yes yeah we're trying to make the they're trying to make the car look like the culprit yeah it is it is to a large extent cars are not efficient and they're producing a lot of pollution Let's see. Uh, the pipeline that was blown up released more methane than 20 years of car emissions. Um, I don't know about that. Probably not. Uh, but they're worried about cows. It's not just about now, you moron. It's about the whole system that needs to be changed for the future. So in 20 years, if he if he says, yeah, it doesn't matter because this happens. Okay, and what about in 20 years time, you idiot. Um, but what you see with the comments is that these people, these, it's like they're catering to the audience. And I made another video about that, which is uh, tells you something very interesting and important about um, the what, what people do. What, what people create and catering to an audience. Catering to an audience is only okay if you do your own thing and not just catering to the audience because then you're no, nothing more than, than, yeah, you know what. Um, let's see, it's not a car, it's independence they want to take. These people are all, all indoctrinated or uh, believers in conspiracy theories and there are almost no conspiracies because people are just not good at keeping any and they, they usually tell everything that they want to do it's, it's very simple uh, we traveled by bus bike and walking for 10 years due to finance we have our first old car it's amazing how much more freedom we have now yeah it's also amazing how much more um, maintenance and costs you have now but if you if you have some issue with that car, if you need repairs, it's not going to be cheap. It's not not similar to a bicycle. And a bicycle and a bus, I've never used anything else than bus, bike and train in the Netherlands. Never needed it. It can be useful a car sometimes to, to transport stuff. But for freedom to get somewhere, mm, rarely. I would say... A folding bicycle and on, on the bus and train and for the Netherlands you don't need anymore in most cases for transporting for moving or something then cars uh, and vans etc are useful uh, oh yeah this uh, so my, this this is I think sarcastically meant imagine having an airship that floats anywhere you want to go the rest is for monkeys and rabbits <laughs> this is so I think he means that yeah you you can call it freedom but it isn't freedom uh I've had to hitchhike for years now I have a two thousand and it's amazing whatever 
we've taken this have yeah the places they've taken me and the fun they've provided mm. uh yeah I don't drive and I never had a driving a driver's license and I'm 55. I've never built a drop of gas my whole life. I love my e-bike too. Okay. I think it's very simple. You just should use what makes sense. And in general, using cars does not make sense in many cases. You see people driving a car for very short trips. I think, what? why don't you use a bicycle? And what you see, and also in Ukraine, by the way, is even children getting fat. And it's it's absolutely ridiculous. That's also a problem caused by people doing no exercise at all. Bicycles are perfect for that. And other ways you can walk. You see, I've seen also some documentaries about food deserts in the USA. And then, and then I thought, what are you talking about? Was it two or three miles? So I think three five kilometers or so no shops or even even less perhaps perhaps it was two to three kilometers you can just you can walk two and a half kilometers in half an hour you can walk that and the people who, who were complaining were all overweight they could use that exercise uh. so from the name already the rest doesn't surprise me and then you can also um, predict what the commenters generally are. So there are one of two, a few that are um, making critical comments, but most of them is saying how great cars are, how important they are. They are not great and not important. They're just a tool. Use them if you need them, otherwise don't need them and don't pollute, pollute the world. It's very normal. But, but, you know, normal reasoning is not so common. Traveling is freedom, well said. Oh, now comes an interesting one, which I read already. Traveling today is a fashion in financing of foreign places. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. We aren't free to travel at all. People own all the land, so we are restricted to garbage roadways also correct and not not really true in ukraine where there's a lot more free land where you can access for example rivers and in the netherlands it's very difficult almost everything is used try walking down the ditch of the interstate and camp down there overnight see what happens to you yes you, you are not free there are limits to freedom very much so mm, there's no ex way to access the water yeah we're behind fences. The excuse, keep people away from nature and protect it. That could be true, but um, this is what happens also in the Netherlands. Pe um, pieces of land, for example, on the route that I cycled a lot, um, between my house and a relative, uh, all those pieces of land got built on. So they were sold by the city or villages, or whatever you call them. And actually, they are sort of conglomerates these days. So the, a lot of smaller towns, villages, are combined into one community. In any case, the community, the, the city, city council, sold those pieces of land. Houses got built on it. Result, you cannot access that lake anymore. At least not there. You can't you can't see across it because the houses are in the way. It takes away a lot of things. You need to keep parks, etc. And they're taking away parks in the Netherlands as well. Um, what was it in the in Alphen and Rijn, where I'm staying when I'm in the Netherlands? They're trying to remove a what is it? It's like for children, animal sort of an animal farm. I think you called it for children and they want to remove that but also they've already taken some pieces away to build on on the outer edge of that park they just want to make it smaller and they probably they think oh if that's not there they can make it smaller and then people don't notice it or something there are already plans going on and all the all the pieces of land that were easy to take uh, small pieces of green 
in that city have already been converted and built up. That's how you create unlivable areas. Uh, let's see. Uh, in Russia today was adopted a law simplifying relocating to Russia for all persons, for all persons suffering from neocon policies. Russia stands, stands against this madness. Hmm. All right. Russia simply stands for another kind of madness, indeed. Yeah, Russia needs more meat because they're throwing it in the meat grinder like crazy these days. Yeah, 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 yeah. And by the way, I talked coincidentally before the incursion of Ukraine into the Kursk region that uh, Ukraine should attack U uh, Russia more. They've been doing that, of course, and there was already last year an invasion by the Russian volunteer squads in Ukraine into Russia. And now that they've done that, it's very interesting. I thought it was very good at the end for other reasons as well than uh, keeping the invaders away farther. For example, if the Russians attack you there, they are destroying their own infrastructure and buildings, etc. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, this is my wife and I purchased just just purchased two e bikes. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay, there are a few more people that are making good comments. However, this this blaming this is also saying well there is no problem with of course as you saw in the comments with pollution etc and uh, that's not the case. If you put out air, if you put out pollutants, then it will change the system. Very simple. You cannot deny that. And you cannot deny that cars pollute. Okay, that's it for now. Bye. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, this was about. It's like uh, cult cult thinking that's going on. People people tend to go in groups and they think see someone who thinks a certain way and they assert, think the same way and they comment on those videos of people who think the same way. It, it's rare that people disagree. You see that almost everywhere. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.